Star Wars New Heroes Know More About the Jedi Than Luke Skywalker The two-part series premiere of Star Wars, Skeleton Crew contains new references to the Jedi, courtesy of characters with more Jedi knowledge than Luke Skywalker. Although Luke grew into a wise Jedi master with more understanding of the Order than almost anyone else in the galaxy, this was not the case when he began his journey in the original Star Wars film. Obi-Wan Kenobi had to explain to Luke the role the Jedi played in the Old Republic, show him what a lightsaber looked like, and even reveal the existence of the Force itself to be why contrast, the existence of the Jedi, and much of their history seems to be common knowledge to the new heroes of Skeleton Crew. This is an interesting way to differentiate the latest Star Wars TV show from the franchise's first movie, but it also raises several fascinating questions. It hints at the history behind the mysterious planet the characters come from while potentially setting up plot lines that could tie into upcoming Star Wars movies or TV shows. Perhaps Luke Skywalker himself could benefit from the Jedi knowledge present in Skeleton Crew Episodes 1 and 2. The Skeleton Crew characters, especially Vim and his best friend Neil, know quite a bit about the Jedi. Vim's first scene shows him playing with Jedi and Sith action figures. He and Neil pretend to have a lightsaber duel on their way to school, and Vim all but tells his entire class that he wants to be a Jedi when he grows up. Although Vim's classmates and even his father admonish him for his Jedi obsession and say he should grow up, this seems to be a matter of practicality. Rather than no one believing the Jedi were real, this is an intriguing departure from Luke in A New Hope and even Rey in Star Wars. The Force Awakens, who had heard of the Jedi but wasn't sure if they were real. Although the sequel trilogy takes place 53 years after Order 66, the Jedi had already begun falling into myth, but several aspects of Skeleton Crew's first two episodes suggest a much longer time gap. Vim's homeworld is fully considered a myth, and the credits his people use are identified as antique Old Republic credits, meaning at a tin could have been in hiding for 1,000 years. A Tia tin may be considered a myth by most, but it's also rumored that the planet is full of priceless treasure. If Vim's people have been secluded from the galaxy for a millennium, then the planet may contain Jedi artifacts and historical records that weren't destroyed by the Galactic Empire. This would be a big help for Luke, who is constructing his Jedi temple at this point in the timeline, or it could eventually help Rey in her new Jedi Order movie. Whether Luke Skywalker benefits from it or not, the potential Jedi knowledge on Atatin raises the stakes for the new heroes of Star Wars, Skeleton Crew.